The National Teaching Council has fixed Sunday, June 21, for the writing of the Ghana Teacher Licensure Examinations. Unlike the previous ones where the candidates used three days to write the three papers, this time round they have to write all the three papers on the same day. Executive Secretary of the National Teaching Council, uh, Christian Adaipoko, is joining me via Zoom so we can have an understanding of this. Uh, sir, thank you for your time this afternoon. You're welcome, Gifty. So first of all, we want to understand why the change. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, you know, we are not in normal times. Um, under normal circumstances, it should have been three days. And that would have meant that uh, candidates will have to congregate at the nation center for the first day, mm. second day, and a third day. And um, we thought that that will increase the risk for COVID-19 infections. So um, at the council meeting, council decided that um, we should make it a one-day affair so that the risk of students congregating, or candidates rather, can congregating for three consecutive days um, including travels, using truck travel for three days to and fro and flow from that place and so on. Um, it's a big of a, it's a, a big challenge to us. So based on that, we decided that okay, um, let's cut it to and fro and then rather use um, a one day um, examination. Doesn't it sound as though the teacher's welfare, if you like, uh, wasn't really taken into consideration because now Welfare, not in terms of health, I mean, not health-wise, but the ability to learn to write these three papers at the same time. I mean, that, that is some sort of mental stress, don't you think, for these teachers? It's, it's a bit of a challenge to them. It's a bit of a difficulty, but it is not beyond them because um, it's not the first time NTC is doing something like this. Um, last year, Instead of three days, we used two days to write, and it was successful. We believe that um, writing all the three papers in one day will not, will not be too much of um, something that cannot be uh, done at all, because first paper will take about one hour 45 minutes, second paper is about one hour 15 minutes, and the third paper is about one hour 30 minutes. And that um, something that we can easily smart. OK. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear uh, from the teachers, and I want to hear from them to say, if you're a teacher and you're watching us, do send us a WhatsApp message. Uh, let's see if you can do that within the time that we're on the show so that we can ask Mr. Daipoku and get some answers uh, for you. Let me just quickly go through the numbers again. So if you need to send us, it's 0540109009. So send us a WhatsApp if you're a teacher uh, who'll be writing this exam. Let's know what you think. So Mr. Daipoku, back to you. Um, this is supposed to be the fourth edition. Uh, have you seen any improvement in terms of teacher output over the years? Well, um, we are yet to measure that because the first group of people who wrote the licensure exam have just been recruited. They are not even one year in the service. So um, it may take some time for us to do a um, tracer study to find out how that is impacting on academic work. So the first group just, just got recruited last year. As we move on, maybe in the next two, three years, we should be able to do a research study and find out how to on academic work. How many teachers are expected to write this exam? Um, approximately 14,500 candidates are supposed to write. 14,500 mm -hmm. candidates. And help us understand how the distribution looks like across the country. Well, offhand, I'm not, I'm offhand, I'm not able to tell, but what I know is that um, we have changed some of the centers that originally we planned to write the exam. Uh, for instance, all the senior high schools that were earmarked as centers have been shaped because of the uh, migration going on in those places. If you go to Kumasi, for instance, we had earmarked Prempe College, Okukuari Senior High School, as Antimai Senior High School, among others, um, Anglican Senior High School, to write the exams there. But because of the activities going on there, we have moved almost all the centers to um, KNUST. And those that um, those um, St. Louis College of Education, we have moved some of them to um, 
uh, University, College, University College of Education, Winneba, Kumasi Campus. So that is a, a little change that has happened. But you know, we have 27 centers across the country. And if you go to Bota region, we we're supposed to write people University, but we had challenge, so we have moved um, to St. Francis College of Education. Um, that's for Hoy. So that is a little of a issue. To to the senior high school, but we have moved it to um, uh, I think Sefi. Um, I'm forgotten the spe specific name. I don't have it. Okay. I yet. think I might even need you to. I think I might even need you to give us a list of these uh, changes so that we can share with teachers and so that they know the, for those who have not been in contact with you because I lost you there um, because of the I think the positioning. Sergio also, Sergio also has been moved. Viviani uh, has been moved to Sergio also senior high okay. training college. Sergio has a college of education. So those who chose to go to senior high school will not know not right at Sergio also college of education. Among us, um, this has been published in the dailies, and then in the, um, it's also on social media. Hmm. And we continue to make announcements for people to know where um, they are supposed to write. We have also sent text messages specifically to individual teachers um, concerning their specific centers. Hmm. So we believe that people have been informed adequately, okay. and uh, they should be frustrated at all on the day of the examination. Hmm. So just when I announce the numbers to for people to ask you questions, I've got tons of questions um, coming in right now. It's even funny. Um, I, I just want to find out. So there are people who are asking about, for, I, I'm trying to, in my head, put this together uh, so that, it, we, because I can't take all the questions. There, there's a lot of them. Um, the reader is asking from Cape Coast, what happens to teachers who are unable to pass this uh, licensure exams? And whether it can't wait? Well, um, whether it can't wait, uh, the answer is of twofold. First, it can't wait, in my opinion, because it is likely that the employer will employ teachers um, by, by September. That, is, that has been the standard practice within the education service to um, recruit teachers before September school reopens. I don't know what GES timetable is as of now, whether they want to do it that way or because of the COVID, they may want to wait. That notwithstanding, we believe that um, we will need to write this exam for those who qualify to be recruited to get a chance. And so that is one of the reasons we believe they can't wait. But on the other hand, Anything can happen because a lot of things were planned before COVID-19 uh, restrictions came and a lot of things waited. But with the easing of the restrictions, we believe that it is appropriate that we take the steps to write so that people can be in good standing when it comes to the recruitment and will not be disadvantaged. Someone says three papers a day will be very stressful. He's Solomon from Atomic. Three papers will be tr stressful, but we will try and write. Please, how many candidates are expected to be in an examination room? And what other protocols are we expected to go through? Thank you very much. Um, the examination rooms are relative um, based on the size of the, the, the hall and they are not of the same measurement. So I'm unable to tell that one. But what I know is that for examination, we already have our social distancing rules already, and we are going to enhance it even more to make sure that uh, people are not endangered, apart from the fact that we don't want any cheating to go on when people are close to each other. We also want to ensure that people are not endangered um, in terms of health, because of what we are, we are in. Mm. But, but, Mr. Daipoko, just to interrupt you briefly, I, I, I mean, the, we're seeing a spike in our numbers at the moment. So uh, for, for the NTC, one would have expected that these things will be uh, even communicated to the teachers already. How many people will be in a particular class? It should be something we know at this point, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, what I'm saying is that for the number in a particular class, it's very difficult to tell because 
if you go to University of, um, uh, let's say, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, some of the lecture halls are bigger than others. Okay. And so we cannot say exclusively that every uh, we will have 10 people in a, every lecture theater. But what we, uh, the precaution we are taking is that uh, both on, in rows and in columns, people should sit um, in the interval of more than one meter. And so the social distancing rule of one meter apart will be strictly applied to make sure that people are not endangered. And it's already um, a law in Ghana that everybody must wear face masks. Hmm. And so hmm. it goes without saying that without the face mask, masks, nobody can be given the chance to enter the examination hall. Besides that, we are also providing either sanitizers or soapy water for people to um, either wash their hands or sanitize their hands before they enter the examination hall, among other things that we are supposed to do to ensure that people are not endangered during the examination. It sounds like from what you're saying, the NTC feels all set to go with this. But uh, James uh, Joseph Barr is asking a question that a lot of other people have also asked. Um, He's asking, what's the point in writing these exams without automatic employment in the teaching field after exams? And the concern also has been that, in fact, teachers have been home during these, uh, these you know, trying times. So other, the question essentially is, there aren't postings even after these exams. What's happening there, sir? Well, um, I think people confuse the work of National Teaching Council with that of the Ghana Education Service or a private school. The work of National Teaching Council is to make sure that people are in good standing to practice as teachers. So whether you'll be posted or not is not the question. The question is, do you qualify to be posted? It is when you satisfy that, that any employer, be it in the public service or in the private sector, can decide that, OK, this person qualifies and I want to engage that person. So. It's not about you being posted or not, but it's about being in good standing to be able to, to become employable. Okay. I have just a few seconds to wrap up with you, but I think I think this is important to read out. He says I'm confused. Are you is he talking about those of us slated for our final exams on second and third July, or is he really talking about student teachers who just finished with their teaching practice? That's a very relevant question. Um, the current examination going on is not for those already in school preparing to write their final exam. NTC writes two essential exams within a space of time, September and March. Usually the March one is for recitals and few others who could not assess the September main exam. The main exam is normally in September. So those in school preparing to write their final exams to graduate will rise to their special exam either the better part of September or early October. Okay. So we're all set for Sunday, uh, which is just this Sunday. Um, hopefully between, well, we don't really have much time. We're set for tomorrow and I guess, uh, yeah, Saturday. But hopefully the information that ought to get to these uh, teachers who are sitting the paper will. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much, Gitty. The information has gone to every teacher. That's, I mean, every candidate is supposed to write. And those who, are not, who have not yet received the information, in case there are people like that, they must visit their NTC portal as quickly as possible, and they will locate the attendance. And then okay. They can so, to, so teachers should log on to the NTC portal. If you don't have enough information on what to do, log on to the NTC portal and hopefully you get the information that works for you. Sadai Poku, thank you. He's Executive Secretary of the NTC.